Okay, the Slates took over in May of 87. And almost, you know what happens when new owners come in, they almost immediately start making changes. And some of the guys, the, the weekend guys, you know, gone, and then this guy's gone, and she's gone. And, and you kind of saw the handwriting on the wall because they wanted to change to goose up the show. And all of a sudden, I got a call from uh, uh, Sandy Sanderson and uh, Tony Viner, who were running F uh, FI. Tremendous guys to work for. Tremendous. And we had these meetings at my house in Leaside because they didn't want to meet in a restaurant because then sure as hell somebody would see it. So they laid out the whole deal. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> They laid out the whole deal, financially, bonuses, all of that stuff. So I gave my notice on the Labor Day weekend and started there. Oh, and then I couldn't start till December 1st. They, they, <laughs> uh, Slates put a thing on it. In fact, uh, FI wanted me to be in the Santa Claus parade, and I couldn't. I couldn't make any, they couldn't even announce I was coming. So I started December 1st or 2nd, I can't remember. I guess it was the 1st. And uh, it just, it was, it just happened. It was just, just, just happened.